Next is from David Miles, and the subject is Maximum Male Models. First thing, love the show, Disco and Conan. What is your opinion on Maximum Male Models? Have they already ruined the faction, or did they just bury them on purpose? Maximum Male Models reminds you of the Spirit Squad, and most importantly, did it titillate your juices? LOL. Keep up the awesome work, K100. I'd like to have a discussion. I'm going to ask you a question, David Miles, and I'll have you ret- answer this question back. Well, why have the... What are they? Have they been buried? That's my question. I don't. I don't. I don't even understand. Have they? They bury them. In your opinion, David Miles, how do you think they've been buried? I think they're doing. I think what they're doing is great. They're build, They're doing character development with with their performances so far. You know, I, I don't. I, that's kind of a dumb take. What would, would you agree with that? Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. David Miles, respond next week to our question. Okay. How are they been buried? I don't feel you know, <laughs> they're on every bro. They get like a ten minute segment every week on the show. You know they don't even have to wrestle. They get it gets good heat. Uh, that might have been like clickbait solicitation to try to see if you guys would bury it or something like that. Yeah. Um, next is from Gary Hans. Oh, this is interesting. <clears throat> uh, did Max Dupree screw up already? I know that you guys respect wrestlers who speak up backstage. At the same time, I think that you would both agree that you've got to earn your place before first before your words are going to have any effect. Seems like Max Dupree is <laughs> up within less than a month of WWE. Um, I guess like they gave him some, he clapped back at some of the writers for giving him some bad, stupid stuff. And, and so that he wasn't in the, the angle anymore. Did you see this Conan? Yes. Personally, I think this is a huge shame because Max Dupree, Ellie Knight, Eli Drake is a great wrestler and amazing promo, but it's also not the first time I've ever heard of him causing backstage problems. I'm sure you guys can remember that impact fired him because he refused to do a job for Tessa Blanchard. Conan and Disco, what do you think about this issue he's having? And do you have any stories about your interactions? Um, Bro, it's very. It's, let me tell you something. It's the WWE has provided a very weird mixed message for years. Okay, because Vince has always told people to grab the brass ring, right? And that's been the mantra: but grab the brass ring, grab. And to me, like grab the brass ring. I don't know what you think, but when I think, it's like stand up for yourself, protect your character. You know, and if if you have some, if if like if be be confident enough that if if you don't like what you're given, to be able to offer them something else that you know that like you'll basically make make the segment better, right? However, the climate at WWE, we've heard for people years that people are scared to speak up because the writers are a bunch of little and go go that they go you know go running back to the manager and management and you know bury the guys because their 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 writing doesn't work when when bro. We've seen that the the writing on that show has been the worst thing that they've had over the past ten years. It's these stupid backstage segments where they have guys talking like like human beings don't talk. So it's like I don't know. It's like you know he's always been a guy that speaks up for himself to the detriment of his career. And and I don't know, but I but I'm hearing that he may be bringing him back as L.A. Knight because he's definitely talented enough to be on the show. And bro, he was making this gimmick work. You know, this was an entertaining gimmick. And I don't know, like maybe he just didn't like doing it, but like. You know, I don't know. What, what, what do you hear anything, Conan? What do you think about this? What's the exact question? What do you think about the issue he's having? And do you have any stories about your interactions with him? Yeah, I don't know what he did. What he's got heat. You know, um, uh, in impact, he was always very cocky, kind of aloof. Always walked around with a with a jug of water. You know, just kind of like very aloof. I really didn't like him that much when I first got there because he would never say hi or anything like that. And uh, Sanjay Dutt loved him, and he was always putting him over to me. And then one day we had to do something together. And I was like, wow, this guy is talented. And uh, we started to get along, and he was really cool, kind of like Austin Aries. You know, everybody I know always has some sort of problem with Austin. I've never had a, a problem with Austin. You know, he's always been very cool. So, yeah. 